Hello, Internet. Uh, the, oh, oh, I did a thing called Smodels ages ago that I really believed in. And then it turns out that real life got in the way and all of the model making went completely away. And now I'm making models again for whatever reason. So while it's good, I'm going to ride on it. OK, brilliant. Thank you very much. Now, I am building a 1350 USS Enterprise because the 1350 USS Enterprise, possibly along with the Millennium Falcon, is without a shadow of doubt the single greatest thing to ever happen to sci-fi because I like spaceships and the films around them are very good, but I like the spaceships. The Enterprise is number one. The Falcon is number two. The TOS Enterprise doesn't feature in the top ten, I don't think. Um, anyway, so because I'm building one, I built, I bought a uh, Tenor Controls um, control board, which is brilliant. And then as I was researching what to do with that video... Lots of people, and when I say lots of people, I'm not joking. I saw so many people say, I would love to do lighting. I've bought lighting, but it intimidates me so much. I've never done it, and it's completely made me stop modelling. And to me, that is an, a horrific shame. So I'm going to try. I am utter noob at doing this. I've had one of these before. Let me show you. That is the Tenor Controls um, nav board. So all that is, is posneg, 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 one for the strobes and one for the uh, navs. And then that one is the power input, which you can't get wrong because it actually says how it hooks up. Uh, the one that comes with the tenor controls one is mildly <laughs> more difficult. It's bloody impossible. I fucking can't do it. It's this. Look, it's like, whoa. And I'm not, a, I, I'm all right at doing this stuff. I'm, but, and oh dear, I struggled. I had, to, I had to think about it and then think about it and then think about it again. But what I'm trying to say to you is I am not good at doing this stuff. I'm not a novice, but I am no expert. And I'd never done anything this complicated before, but I did it. And it just makes me feel bad for all of those people that aren't bloody doing it because you stopped bloody doing it. So, Enterprise. Strobe, uh, sorry, nav, 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 nav. Strobe, strobe, strobe in the middle. Now, there is more stuff that's going to go on here. I'm going to do this video by video and explain what I'm doing bit by bit. I've chopped holes here and here, here and here. Uh, chopped holes because the uh, blue to orange or orange to blue uh, bulbs are going to go in these slots. And I actually think I'm going to go the extra hog and put on a... Uh, navigation light on there and a navigation light on there and then they put the strobe on the top and just try and complete her output strobe on the bottom there i'm going to try and top it up make it look like it should do because i figure the best the best way i'm waffling now i've got to shut up and get on with it the best way to do this is to do this but to go to the time and effort of putting everything in the ship and having a finished model and then working out that all you've got is a load of wires that you don't understand, a la Papa Smurf, who said to me, for God's sake, whatever you do, make sure you, you just record what's what and label everything and colour code it if you can, because you will, you know, be grateful for it later. So I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to show you the back of everything you're doing. Now, there are two conditions to this. Number one is you are not allowed to laugh at my soldering. And number two is you must always obey number one. Now, uh, I'm going to turn you off, lay down, change the camera a little bit and show you how it's wired on the back. Because this bit, this bit, doddle. Right. It's not ideal. In fact, I might go and let's let's just do the front end because... OK, let's assume this is exactly the same as this and how I've wired up the switches. I'll show you in a minute. That's probably short and I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'm going to show you this bit. I'm going to zoom in on it. Hey, baby. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on this bit and then I'm going to show you what's going on with this bit. What you need to do is, yes, I'm using magnet wire. I've not used magnet wire in the actual ship. I've used magnet wire here because it's super duper simple. Um, so just the way I did this, irrespective of the order in which they flash and stuff like that, I took all the LEDs that I needed and for every single one of them, let's see if I can pull that through. For all of them, look, I took my LED, didn't chop it down or anything like that. I put the resistor on that and then I put the wire to the actual board on the resistor. Do this process for every single one 
in this chain. And the reason for that is because, and I, you know, if you know this, great, you know this, congratulations, you're a modeler. And if you don't know this, this is gonna be very, very helpful to you. Put a resistor on each of them. You can make a circuit where all of them run off one resistor. You will increase heat in the resistor. If it fails, you're screwed. If one of them fails and you have one light that goes out, that's not the end of the world. Because if you put a different resistor on each one, they all control their power separately. If one of them goes, the whole chain goes and you end up with a load of lights that don't work. So just, just do it. Just do it. it really, it's going to make a difference in the long run. So one, two, three, four, five are our navigation lights. And the one in the middle is the strobe. And here at the arse end, which I showed you, all you've got is the other two lights that go on the rear of the nacelles for the strobe lights. Then I've condensed them all down to two circuits. OK, I've run all the wires into oh, my hand is covering everything, but I've run all of those wires into shrink wrap bits and then out to a single wire. And I'll show you why in a moment. I've done exactly the same thing if the wires will stretch enough. No, I don't think they will. Whoop. Here, take all the negatives into one, all the positives in the other. I have shrink wrapped these in red and black. This is something that you need to do. It just makes your life a little easier later on when you're frustrated and something's not working. That If it's labelled properly, you know what it is and you can plug it in at the other end. I will tell you, I connected the board backwards the first time I did this and I couldn't work out what was going on because wiring diagrams are difficult. So I'm going to try and get the wiring diagram out, show you just some very quick stuff and then I'll show you the board. Right, so when I read this, this is all... Yeah, gobbledygook because I don't do electrics. I'm a decorator. So, um, ah, right. So when you follow all of this round, it's showing you where everything needs to be. And the one bit that I didn't read and I should have read and had faith in is LED side plus, LED side negative. This side, number one, is the positive. And there's a single positive to go to all of the navigation lights and all of the strobes and stuff like that. So it's, sorry, not... All the nav lights, the strobes have got a different one. But they all work off a single earth. Where are we? There. You've got one earth that goes back to the board, which is number 11. Okay. You've got a separate earth, which is number one. So by having both of them on the same power, but only being activated when the earth is told to connect, i.e. through your board there, um, everything starts to flash. So just remember, number one, the left side, positive. Number 12, the right side, a positive. Yes? So, you can't see an awful lot of what I want you to see, but you'll get the, the, the gist of it. Yes? Number one, positive. Two outputs going to each of the nav boards. Number two, negative on the opposite side. I'm assuming this is going to be a regular theme. That negative is connected to the navigation lights, and the second negative is connected to the strobe lights. They're all numbered. One, and then that's 11 and 12, okay? That's all you have to do. That's literally all you've got to do. Then connect the appropriate ones up to the lights and do it. It's super simple, but it's just hard to get that first time because it's really intimidating. And then all you've got is a positive and negative. It tells you to hook it up to a switch. I don't have a switch. It's just plugged into my nine volt adapter at the moment, but that's all right. The switch will come later. Um, when I turned this on, I was over the moon because I just I can't tell you how long well I could if I were to look it up on Facebook one of my favorite ever Facebook banners at the top of my Facebook page is me holding a taped together version of the model that I'm building and it was at the time it was just the greatest achievement ever and then just loads of stuff went wrong and I've really got as far as I want to and now is the time to go and do, well, well, I'd say where no man has gone before. But if you type it into YouTube, many men have been here before. That's fine. This is just my turn to try and conquer the mountain. Um, step one. Uh, next step is to wire up the nav, the dishes. OK, and we'll see if the buttons work. Uh, and when I do that, I'll do some testing and make sure it works. And I'll do exactly the same thing. I'll show you how I'm wired them up what they connect to and what they look like when they're done. 